when it comes to action cameras or adventure cameras as I may call it, iisa lang talaga yung choice ko dyan, yung lagi kong gamit ng mga collection ko ng Insta360s. At ngayon may bago na naman from Insta360, grabe magapit to, ang Insta360 X3. Mga ginagamit kong Insta360 cameras, eh, it turned out na naging dagawa yung paborito ko dyan mga brother. Ang Insta360 ONE RS, yung modular in design, tapos meron pa akong yung napakagapit na lens, yung Leica lens nila. And I also use the Insta360 ONE X2. Pero the past weeks, I've been using the Insta360 X3. And eto ang mga observations ko so far in case isa ka sa mga tumitingin ng camera to. What's up mga brother? Ito si Juan ng Motor Iwan. And let's check out the newest camera from Insta360. First off, this is a 360 camera, so you will make sure that you're able to capture lahat ng mga nangyayari sa kapaligiran mo. It's very easy to edit, especially when you're already reframing it gamit ang kanilang Insta360 app. The X3 is similarly built as that of the One X2, so gusto ko yung build na yun kasi it's very handy, it's very easy to put in our pockets or kaya sa mga riding jackets natin. Kung baga, hindi siya abaga kung saan man natin siya e-store and then you can just take it out anytime if you're, if you're ready for that action shot. So in terms of overall build, I like the X3. It's very flexible, it's very adaptable. Pagdating sa iba't ibang mga klase ng shots, it really doesn't get in the way. Yung resolution nito is up to 5.7K with HDR. Similar din naman dun sa X2 counterpart niya. But... This has a better sensor which gives us a better quality overall. Another upgrade that they did on the X3 is the screen on the camera itself. Yung parabang touchscreen button niya. Napaka-convenient yun because first you can see the shot. You can also preview the shot after you shot it. So medyo pwede mo nang laruin yung framing yan. May kita mo na kagad yan kasi palapad siya. And it's very easy to go to your different modes kasi since palapad na yung touchscreen niya. Some of the things that they added is the shortcut button for the record button. So very handy and especially lagi ako naka-motorcycle gloves when I'm riding. And meron na rin tong shortcut button for the modes and shortcut settings. Tapos pwede mo pang i-personalize to. So it's a physical button na hindi mo kailangan mag-access dun sa pinaka-touchscreen niya. So again, for me, who's always on my riding gloves, napaka-handy niyan with a simple push of a button, I can go to my different nodes. So, okay na okay ang additional function na for the X3. Isa pa sa mga na-upgrade dito sa X3 versus the One X2 is the stabilization. Grabe. Iba yung quality ng stabilization for the X3. So, sa mga shots na to, if you could only see the I have the selfie stick extended, so medyo nagpa-flap siyang ganyan. But if you can see yung final output natin, very stable. Ang high quality ng images kaya gusto gusto ko perfect and for riding and especially when I bring you the motorcycle reviews na kita nyo talaga yung actual shots natin with me on the motorcycle ng hindi magulo so that way mas nayahatid natin yung information and the shots sa inyo syempre lahat naman tayo gusto rin nakikita yung itsura natin pag nakasakay na dun sa motor na gusto nating bigyan and meron ding tong me mode which the camera just focuses on me so even though it, it captures lahat ng nasa kapaligiran ko Pag inactivate ko yung me mode, sa akin lang siya nakafocus. So, perfect for vlogging. And then, it just saves me the hassle of reframing it dito sa editing app natin na Insta360. So, again, just makes my life easy. Kasi kung gusto ko lang magsagita, gusto ko magkwento sa inyo. And even if I turn around sa iba't ibang mga direction, ako pa rin na makikita nyo sa camera, sa ayaw nyo, sa gusto. Another good addition in terms of functionality dito kay X3. Isa pang astig dito is that you now have the option of turning the 360 camera into a 4K single lens mode. Yes. So now the 360 camera becomes a simpler vlogging camera. And you will also have the option to switch camera kung gusto mo yung front o kaya yung rear camera. And napansin ko rin when I was vlogging and using the X3 is that the X3 now has better audio quality. Kasi nung napansin ko sa X2, okay din naman yung audio quality niya. But there are times wherein it fades out, lalo na pag medyo mahaba yung selfie stick or medyo mas may wind noise na na-capture niya. Sa X3, there's definitely an improvement pagdating dun sa audio output natin. Which I like, at least I don't have to do a lot of or to use a lot of gadgets. Pero, nonetheless, meron pa rin yung option for you to uh, extend or... Uh, put an external mic for better audio quality, you would also have that option. At ang hindi napapansin ng marami is when it comes to the battery and the actual closure. 
yung mga locks at saka sa mga adapters na to. It's more secured now. Mas crisp yung pagkakasara niya. Which is better because for the X3, you won't need any casing para daghin to underwater. Yes, mga brother, the Insta360 X3 can also be used underwater. Although ako personally, hindi ko pa nagamit yan. So definitely gagamitin natin yan sa mga susunod na rides natin. Medyo busy lang tayo ngayon. But I am looking forward sa quality ng shots na to underwater. So overall, this camera is perfect for you if you're someone who goes on an adventure, gusto mo ng very handy na camera that's not bulky pero high resolution pa rin, and you can play around with the different modes and settings. At saka, syempre, if you have creative minds, yung mga medyo matataba ang utak dyan when it comes to the shots, unlimited yung possibilities of the shots that you can use with the Insta360 X3. At gaya ng mga nakikita nyo yung shots ngayon sa screen natin, these are just some of the tricks that we can do using the X3. Maybe sa, is, sa iba pang video natin, maaari natin ipakita sa inyo kung paano natin ginawa yung mga tricks na yan. But you can also experiment with your own, again, unlimited possibilities and capabilities pagdating dito sa X3 natin just because of the 360 view and the flexibility of the camera and the simple and intuitive, easy to use editing app nila. Sigurado ako mag enjoy ka dyan. So this is our video for today mga brother. Babalitaan ko pa kayo tungkol sa iba't iba pang mga motorcycle news, reviews, and tips galing dito kay Motor Niwan. Take our next video mga brad. Salud!